Hello friends, welcome to Kishore's YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see typically asked interview questions for electrical engineer to crack your interview. So friends, let's see top 10 questions for electrical interview. Before proceeding, I'll request you to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. So friends, let's see the different questions which are asked during electrical engineer's job interview. What is difference between a capacitor, resistor and inductor? Capacitor. A capacitor is an electrical component that opposes the current flow and acts as a passive element. It also stores some form of electrical charge when the potential is applied. Resistor. A resistor is an electrical component that opposes the flow of current. It is a two terminal component and mainly used to reduce the flow of current. Inductor. An inductor is an electrical component used to build electrical circuits and store the energy in the form of magnetic field. It is also called choke or coil. What is pull up torque? Pull up torque is a minimum torque developed by the motor as it accelerates from standstill to the speed which at, at which the breakdown torque occurs. What is rated torque? The rated torque of an induction motor is a maximum torque it can deliver to the load at its rated speed. Why is an import induction motor called an asynchronous motor? The speed of rotation of the rotor is always less than the synchronous speed of the applied stator voltage. Moreover, the rotor can never match the speed of rotating magnetic field. Hence, these motors are known as the asynchronous motors. What are the techniques used to start an induction motor? To start an induction motor, we can have direct online starter, start data starter, auto transform starter, stop starter, and using variable frequency drive. What are the basic protection required for an induction motor? Overload protection, short circuit protection, protection against phase failure, over voltage protection, earth fault protection. What are the transistors made of? The transistors are made of several combinations of N type and P type semiconductor. What is the principle of operation of a DC motor? The operation of a DC motor is based on the principle that when a current carrying conductor is placed in the magnetic field, the conductor experiences a mechanical force. Basically, there is no constructional difference between a DC motor and a DC generator. The same DC machine can be run as a DC generator or motor. Explain the principle of operation of induction motors. The induction motors have three phase winding at the stator similar to that of synchronous machines. When a three phase voltage is applied to the stator coils, a rotating magnetic field is formed. The varying magnetic field comes in contact with the rotor conductors and induces EMF into it. The ends of rotor windings are short circuited so that there, there, is a, there flows a current proportional to the induced EMF. Due to the current flow, another magnetic field rotating in the direction of same that of the stator is set up. The interaction between these two magnetic fields generates a torque that tends to rotate the motor in the direction of the rotating magnetic field of the stator. Induction motors are self-starting motors. What are the parts of an induction motor? The major parts of an induction motor are stator, rotor, commutator, bearing and shaft assembly, insulation materials, casing, brushes and terminals. How can you control the speed of an induction motor? The following are the different techniques adopted to control the speed of an induction motor. Pole changing method, stator voltage control method, frequency control method, rotor resistance control method or slip ring motors. Nowadays, variable speed drives are used to control the speed of induction motor. It controls the input voltage and supply frequency to accurately con control the motor speed. What do you understand by a transistor? A transistor is a semiconducting device that is made up of semiconducting materials. Transistors are used to interpret electrical signals and power. A transistor should be connected at, to, at, to at least three terminals through an external circuit. 
it is also known as the combination of mini n type and p type semiconductor what do you understand by avr or automatic voltage regulator avr is a short term that stands for automatic voltage regulator it is a central part of synchronous generators and used to regulate the voltage it gets the fluctuation in voltage and changes from it changes them into a constant voltage the fluctuation in the voltage generally occurs due to variation in the load on the supply system which can damage the equipment of the power system to control the voltage we have to install the voltage control equipment at several places such as near transformers generators feeders etc so friends i hope this information was useful for you please subscribe my channel for such informative videos thank you friends and wish you all the best for your future interviews